So now we're looking at more of a drill than an actual exercise. And this is just working on single leg balance. So anytime you're walking, you know, you're always gonna spend some time on one leg over the other, no matter which type of path you're doing. So a single leg balance is very good about stabilizing the ankle, the knee, and the hip joint, but there's a couple different ways that we can make it you know, easier or increase the difficulty. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the easiest modification possible. I'm just gonna put my hand on you know, a wall, a rack, a countertop, anything. Pick up the inside foot. All right, and the goal with this is to get to where you can just do your fingertips and then maybe kind of float your hand near it in case you need to grab it because you're losing your balance. And you can see with this, I'm just kind of bending my opposite knee, bringing the heel up off the ground. You don't have to do anything crazy. We can work our progression towards that. And I just want you to hang out here for about three minutes at a time. You know, if you need to grab the wall, that's fine. Just keep the clock going. As soon as you knock that out, we're gonna turn and do the opposite leg, exact same thing. I'm not really a big fan of people doing the outside leg because if I start falling that way, then I'm not gonna be able to use my hand to help out. So I always think about the inside leg. So once you feel comfortable with that and you can easily do three minutes, we're gonna try to do three minutes here. You can do wherever you want to, you can play on your phone, watch TV, read a book, but again, I'm just keeping one foot off of the ground. Once you knock out three minutes on one side, you're going three minutes on the other side. So always try to do equal time on both. You're gonna notice that one leg has a little bit more stability than the other. It's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that. So once we get comfortable with this, then we'll start playing with our overall balance. So I can go here, kind of start bringing my knee high to the outside, pushing the lateral line. You can see my body will always stabilize over top of my post, right? Whether I go here, if I extend the leg out, my shoulders have to go further. I can't get up here and maintain a lot of stability. From there, we can go high knee up front. I can go leg straight out in the back, kind of like a Superman position, here to here. Once you get comfortable with that, moving the leg through different ranges of motions for three to five minutes, then we're gonna look at getting a little bit of a squat going. Once you feel comfortable in the squat, then again, you can start driving the leg out, driving the leg back, try my other leg a little bit. Bending down, driving the leg out, back behind you with the squat, in front of you with the squat. Try to get used to moving your body through a lot of different planes of motion with that bent knee. As you feel comfortable with that, squat down a little bit further. Go here almost into a full squat and then start moving everything around just to make your brain kind of figure out what you're doing. The worst part about balance is you can't train it directly. The only thing you really do is put yourself in an unbalanced state and kind of make your brain and I don't want to say stability muscles, but basically your stability muscles figure out your proprioception where your body is in space, right? And that's what's going to help increase the balance. So try that. I highly suggest doing this every single day. Like I said, three to five minutes per leg. So you're looking at 10, 15 minutes a day of doing that. And you can do it while you're working at your desk. You can do it anywhere. Okay. Thank you.